So how can you improve the odds of someone buying your product over the rest of your competitors? Well, in business and sales, it boils down to value. In this video, I'll show you the best ways to differentiate your product on Amazon to add value and destroy your competition. But first, my name is Crescent, and if this is our first time meeting, welcome to my channel. My passion is sharing tips and strategies on how you can create a successful Amazon FBA private label business. So if you enjoy videos like this, or especially if you've been around my channel, consider subscribing. All right, let's get started. So what is value? There are two types of value, perceived value and actual value. Perceived value is subjective. It has no direct correlation with the product itself. It's what a person believes the product is worth in their own mind, and this can vary from person to person depending on each individual's needs, circumstances, and most importantly, how the product is marketed and positioned. An example of perceived value is when a friend asks you how much you would pay for something. That's what you perceive the item is worth to you. The problem is when the actual price exceeds what a person perceives that the item is worth. And I'll get into more detail about this in a little bit. Now, what is actual value? Actual value is not subjective and is certainly not based on someone's opinion. It's quantifiable value that can be physically measured, such as quality, benefits, and features, which I'll dive deeper into in a moment. Now, why are these important? With the Amazon FBA private label business model, you can't just do product research and simply sell products that match your search criteria. Finding a potential product is just the first step. It's vital that you identify ways that you can set your product apart from the dozens of other products and listings in the niche by differentiating. Otherwise, there's nothing to separate your product from the sea of other similar products that will entice buyers to purchase your product over another seller's. It's important to note here that you never want to differentiate based on price. Differentiating based on price will always lead to a price war and the prices will just continue to tumble and eventually, it'll end up being a race to the bottom where at the end, no one makes any money. So never differentiate based on price. You always wanna go premium by adding value so that you can charge more and therefore increase your margins. Okay, so how do you add value and dominate your competitors? First, let's talk about perceived value. This might sound counterintuitive, but adding value based on perceived value has nothing to do with the product itself. One way to do this is by creating a better listing. For example, having professional photos taken. Photos are what initially attract a buyer's attention, so it's important to have the best quality, eye-catching main photo, as well as all the additional photos need to communicate the value of your product to the buyer. It's far easier to show what a product is and what it can do than to describe it in words and have the buyer read it. A picture speaks a thousand words. You also want to add value by communicating the benefits of your product as best you can in your title, bullets, and description. Beginners are often far too worried about keyword stuffing than communicating the benefits of their product. Remember, a human is reading the title, bullet points, and description, and it's a human that you need to sell your product to, not an algorithm. So you need to make sure that you are hitting on the benefits of your product. Also be aware that you should be selling the benefits and not the features. People take action based on two fundamental emotions, either to reduce pain or increase pleasure. So your photos, title, and bullet points should really be communicating how your product will make someone's life easier and solve a problem or pain point in their life. Features are secondary purchase considerations such as the material, if it's eco-friendly, if there's a warranty, or the size and weight, for example. Now, another way to add perceived value is by having better reviews. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, this is a secret pro tip. It's against Amazon's terms of service, so I don't condone this, but if you're having friends and family purchase your product and leave reviews, instead of having them write the actual review, you should tell them what to write. You know the niche best, and you know how your product is better than your competitors, so you should write the review in such a way that it showcases the benefits and answers any questions or concerns a potential buyer might have. And just have your friends and family copy and paste that when they leave the review. But do this at your own risk as Amazon is cracking down on people manipulating the review system. Moving on. Differentiating based on actual value. 
So here's where you're adding value that's actually measurable, such as improving the quality of the product, fixing a problem, adding features or variations, or bundling. So how do you know which method or methods to do? The best way is to look at the reviews. Try to identify any common issues that buyers are voicing or complaining about. Here, you can determine if the product is breaking or failing, not meeting certain expectations, or if there are any features or variations that buyers wish were available, such as sizes, colors, or multi-pack options. You can then differentiate based on actual data rather than guessing. So, how can you tell what's a good method to differentiate versus a poor one? A poor method of differentiation is when there's no data or evidence that shows there's any demand for that feature or variation. For example, if no one is complaining about not being able to buy a different size or color, then offering a different size or color isn't a good method of differentiation that's going to add any value. The same applies with bundling and ebooks. You want to bundle items that make sense with your main product. A good way to find items to bundle is to look at the frequently purchased together section. I don't recommend arbitrarily guessing at items to bundle together. A secret method to find excellent products to bundle is a website called yassive.com, which I have a video on here. As for eBooks, in my opinion, you should only use this method of differentiation as a last resort and only if it makes sense. For example, if you're selling a yoga mat, an ebook on different yoga exercise routines you can do with your new yoga mat would make sense and add value. However, an ebook on 10 ways to use your solar eclipse glasses would be meaningless to bundle with your solar eclipse glasses. So take that into consideration. My preferred method to differentiate is to improve the product by fixing a common issue or improving the quality. This is because it is adding real value and isn't something that's subjective. Everyone wants the best product in terms of quality and value. And by using this method, you can charge more and increase your profit margin. Let me know in the comments what your favorite method is to differentiate and what has or hasn't worked for you. All right, so the bottom line here is that finding a product that meets your criteria is only the first step. For your product to be successful, you absolutely need to find a method to differentiate so that it stands out from your competitors and adds value and not simply sell the exact same cookie cutter product as everyone else in the niche. Okay, thanks for watching. If you found value in this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And to make sure you never miss a video, click that bell icon to turn on notifications. There's also a link in the description to our community forums, which you should totally join. And if you're looking for more tips and strategy videos, click or tap over here. And as always, thanks for watching.